Guarda, abbiamo uh, direttamente dal New Jersey, parliamo dei Bon Jovi, ve lo introduciamo, allora anticipiamo subito che adesso parleremo in inglese e quindi non tutti lo capiranno, cercheremo di parlare in maniera molto semplice, però non vi preoccupate perché è un membro della famiglia Bon Jovi e adesso non vedo l'ora di presentarvelo, quindi partiamo subito col botto e mh, eh, registreremo la puntata e poi la ripubblicheremo con i sottotitoli, ma davvero chiamate tutti perché... Uh, Please welcome from New Jersey. Please welcome back. Hello. Ciao. Hi. Ciao. Ciao. Welcome, welcome to Italy. Please, folks, uh, from directly from New Jersey, from his home, Matt Bon Jovi. So, welcome hey to guys. Italy, Matt. Thanks. Hello, It's a pleasure hello. for us. Good morning, good evening, and everything in between. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, it's a 6 p.m. here in Milan, in Italy, and it's yeah. about noon in New Jersey, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just uh, getting my day started for the most part. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, incredible. So thanks for joining us. And, yeah, uh, I, was, this, uh, I was enjoying the uh, the Stern interview there while I was uh, hanging on here. So that was a good one. Yeah, yeah, thanks. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's for, it. For, for a second, when I actually, when I signed on, I'm like, did they get John to come on here? <laughs> <laughs> And you didn't know. <laughs> you didn't know that. It was uh, strange. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how is the life in New Jersey, New York now? You are, no, here in Italy, this is the third episode, and uh, we are trying to keep Bon Jovi fans together, right? So yeah. we are talking, putting some Wonderful. videos, and... Uh, Doing what we can. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. Do what you can. So how is the life in New Jersey? It, no. It's all right, you know, it, it's uh, quiet, you know, to, to say the least, you know, we're, uh, you know, we're, we're going through what the rest of the world is going through, um, you know, as, as I have been watching the news for a couple months and, and seeing what you guys have gone through uh, there in Italy, um, much uh, sooner than, than it hit here, um, you know, you kind of watch closely knowing that we're next, right? You know, so it's just a matter of, uh, you know, learning from you all uh, what to expect and, and, and what it will take to get through this, um, you know, and we just hope that, uh, we just hope that our politicians do the same thing. <laughs> Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, I yeah. saw a couple of your posts over this month and you probably probably were one of the first who started a sort of campaign of prevention because you started to tell people, to warn people before many others. So yeah. thank you for doing yeah. that. And <laughs> Yeah, you know, look, I, I've always said, you know, I, I've been blessed to have been able to travel the world and and see the world and you know get out of my local you know bubble if you would um you know and and to understand you know how the you know in a way how the world works right you know i mean bon jovi has traveled and, and toured i got the last time i attempted to count um how many countries i've been through with the band um i think i kind of lost count around 85 or so well um you know and so you know with that you 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 see uh you know like for instance give an example you know when our country um and and some of our leaders were kind of denying the uh how severe this really was You know, as I was raising my hand and, and, and telling my friends, look at Milan. Milan is not a third world country. That It's New York City. You know, yeah. it's the same. Um, you know, and so it's, it's, you know, look, you know, not that I ever like to use the term fake news. You know, I, I think news is very important. Um, I think facts are very important. Um And, you know, everybody can have an opinion, um, but tell me the facts first and then give me your opinion. 
You know. Yeah, exactly. When so, when uh, this pandemic started here in Italy, you know, I live in Milan, and this is all the area Milan, Bergamo. Moreover, Bergamo. There are many mm -hmm. deaths just 40 minutes from here, and yeah. Brescia, another town, is uh, one of the most industrial areas, not only in Italy but in Europe, right? And yeah. uh, at the beginning, I started to post on my Facebook many numbers, right? Cynical numbers. Because in my Facebook friends, I have many friends from other countries, just hoping to give them some numbers, right? Sure. Then, then uh, I, I stopped to pass this number because every country, countries now has its numbers. Sure. And um, some friends are listening to me, <laughs> some others yeah. not. Everyone sure. has his own opinion, right? Sure. And, Max, uh, look, man, I, I used your post and, and was reposting those numbers. You know, when, when I was, you know, here, you know, explaining it, you know, in a sense to my friends and, and to my, you know, American friends and local Jersey friends and so on, I was using your numbers, you know, saying, look, you know, and, yeah. and, and there was one day in particular, I, I want to say it was the first time you had reached some like 450 deaths in in a day yeah you know and right. and you know and when i saw that i mean that was like the first real spike you know and i just that was an eye opener you yeah. know that's when i just said you know that's this you got to pay attention you yeah. know yeah yeah here in italy everyone knew about new york city um didn't expect new jersey honestly so, but we are we, we are so interconnected. We are yeah, so okay. connected. Look, you know, I I work in New York City, and you know, I commute on you know on mass transit on the in the trains, you know, an hour and a half each way, right? Yeah. And so, you know, when you go up that New Jersey coastline to go into New York City, you know, to get off at Penn Station, which is Madison Square Garden, um, those cities that you go through from you know Woodbridge New Jersey uh you know to Elizabeth to Newark um you know this is just across the river you know so all of these folks you know and and you know that work in New York it's you know the the only difference yeah. is there's a body of you know a, a little river that goes in between us you know yeah. but we're so interconnected um mm. you know and and so that's why our new jersey numbers are, are so yeah. high uh um, yeah. you know because of new york getting hit so hard i mean new york i mean you know it, it's, it's been said it's the capital of the world you know and 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 everybody from everywhere all walks of life come through new york city yeah um you know yeah yeah so matt you talk about uh you you you, um, you go to new york to work so yeah. speaking about works and job, we have a little present for you, just a few photos. But mm. it's uh, about no. no, it's it's easy, it's easy. <laughs> it's a it, it's just a presentation, right? Oh, from many other yeah. friends. Uh, and uh, this is your job. Back when I was in shape. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is now now job. I've I've gained the, the COVID-19 right here. <laughs> Every, everyone is getting fat, Matt. No problem. This is uh, this is beautiful. Yeah, everyone is eating now a lot. Uh, not not gym, nothing. <laughs> and uh, also, there is uh, you created. You have of course working for Bon Jovi through the world. This is with your brother. Maybe this is uh, Graceland. Maybe. Yeah, 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 the, the, yes, the yes. gates of Graceland. Yeah, yeah, and uh, the other picture is the logo that you know you have created with Runaway Tours. And before you were talking about, we we're speaking about job, work. Yeah. This pandemic, yeah. uh, I, I read that in the United States, maybe two, uh, 22 million people has lost their job, and mostly in this business, right? In music, entertainment, concerts, crew, uh, video crews, but uh, uh, 22 million in general. But how do you see the future of the um, concerts, events? And, you know, there are many concerts scheduled for next summer and maybe your brother, 
in the audio that you have listened before speak yeah. about we don't know about 21 22 yeah. no 20 2020 20, no yeah. 2021 maybe it's up in the air but we don't know maybe right. 22 but nothing it's nothing sure what do you think yeah you know it, it's it, look you know that seeing you know 22 million people um you know that number is how many have applied for um unemployment right so there could be many 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 more that um, are unemployed and because of the way the uh unemployment insurance as they call it here um uh, the way that works is you know when you work for somebody or you know it, it in other words there's a lot of what we call gig workers that not necessarily can even collect unemployment right because you're an independent contractor you know and that's one of the real scary things for our industry um with road crew you know they're not necessarily employees um of an organization or a corporation or so forth they are hired for a gig um and so a lot of them aren't able to even get you know unemployment um it's not as easy um you know so it, it, seeing as this was starting to progress and, and really everybody kind of well nobody really had any idea what this would turn into um you know our industry as a whole um it's taking a, a huge huge hit um you know as many other industries of course will but you know social what we do is about being social right so social distancing completely rips Most apart our industry yeah. you know it, it's uh you know the idea of even when we get to the point of slowly opening again as they say we don't know what those numbers are going to be i mean i'm, I'm sure at first it's going to be you know as as they were taking it away no groups larger than you know 100 no larger than 50 no larger than 10 you know stay away from everybody you know and i'm sure it's going to kind of flip where it's okay no larger than groups of 10 no larger than groups of 50 and so on um you know and, and of course they're going to have to do it that way so that they can kind of you know watch that meter right and so if they start seeing cases popping up again they throw the brakes on it right so there's no there's no flicking the switch and you know we're back in madison square garden with a sold out show that's not going to happen overnight um you know so you know the, the the company that i work for which essentially you know runaway tours is kind of under their umbrella um their entire business their entire industry is entertainment and travel um you know the company as a whole our our two number you know number one and number two clients are disney and universal studios oh. right so th those are the biggest you know clients that they sell tickets for right tickets to the park or tickets you know or or hotel stays um and that's all gone away you know for the time being you know you know watching disney you know making uh their moves right you know i i've i've always joked where you know the mouse doesn't give comps right never see mickey mouse giving away any discount or comps to, to the park or anything like that so when the mouse closes his house <laughs> and doesn't let anybody in you know something's wrong you know and you know and not, not to make light of it but you know i mean if, if, if we lose our sense of humor i think we're all in trouble but uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know but you know when when disney had closed the parks at first like most other businesses even mine included was we're closing for two weeks okay so we're going to close for two weeks well then disney came out and said okay we're extending that closure for an additional two weeks and i think they made 
two, maybe three announcements similar to that, where it was you know short amount of time. The last announcement Disney had come out with publicly was the parks are closed indefinitely. Wow. So instead of them continuing continually pushing, 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 the next time we hear an announcement from Disney is when they're opening, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. So you know when you see you know those major you know parks closed, you know hotels closed las vegas shut down you know the entire las vegas strip is closed um you know and so any of this and now you know and of course that trickle down effect of of you know all of these major businesses opening and everybody you know not everybody but many 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 people are losing their jobs you know it's going to be hard for the industry to rebound um quickly it's going to take time because you know as any economy you know people have that choice you know do i pay my rent or do i you know go to las vegas um you know and so you know it's gonna it's gonna take some time you know and and i wish i wish we had that crystal ball <laughs> yeah, know, i yeah. mean uh, <laughs> I, I, mean, I really did <laughs> yes. you know it, it's just uh it's a and scary I thing. I mean, you know, here we are when it was late April, you know, the band, you know, they should be doing promo for the new record right about now, you know, releasing another single, releasing the record and, you know, and starting the tour soon. That, I mean, you know, I think they made the right move by shelving the new record, um, you know, because, you're, you know, you're going to put out a, a new product and if you can't, go out there and play and perform it and promote it, you know, it's, uh, you know, it, it's kind of a, a lost piece of work that uh, yes. will kind of just get lost, you know, so it, it makes sense to do what they're doing. Um, you know, I'm happy to see, you know, and, and John has been a, a leader in this, uh, in the sense of, you know, there's been that big question in the industry do we cancel or do we postpone yes sir. right and you know the the reason of postponement in the industry as a whole is you know all of those you know tickets that were sold and so on um you know that's the lifeline to the industry to keep it moving um you know so if you cancel it's it's a lot more to it, right? So, and when you know, I'm starting to see it on social media and so forth, where people are saying, you know, we want our money back. Well, I I get it, I get it, and believe me when I tell you, John gets it. Um, he much rather truly cancel um, and let everybody get their money back because it's more important to feed your family, pay your rent, pay your mortgage and so on versus having this ticket to a show that you don't know when it's going to play. Maybe a year from now, maybe longer, you know? And so, mm -hmm. you know, it, it's just, it, it's, it's a, it's a tough thing. It's not just as easy, you know, which, which, you know, with, without getting into the, intricate part of the the business and how it works yeah. and how you know monies go around and so forth it's it isn't as easy as just flick a switch and send everybody their money back yeah. right because there's there's a lot that goes into it you know all of you know all of the venues um that count on that money you know all of those workers that are in these venues that count on that money you know i'm seeing some great things you know mark cuban for instance um is paying the arena staff yeah. during the downtime yeah you know sure. i mean what an amazing move that is you know and 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 guys like he who you know know the blessing from the public who have given them what they have today um you know the backbone of, of, of that are all of these workers, you know, it's, it's, it's what's really interesting. And I think one of the positive things that will come out of this 
is what we all now look at as essential workers, right? So it's not the big CEO and the corporation that's as essential as it is the janitor, right? You know, the, the, the minimum wage workers that are the backbone of every business, yeah. you know, and, you know, it, it's seeing, you know, the truck drivers and the grocery store clerks. I mean, you know, yes, I, you know, my heart goes out to, and, and, and I'm so thankful for all of yeah, the, those who are on the front lines, the nurses, the doctors and so forth that are in the hospitals and the clinics and yeah. so on, you know, they're risking their lives every day. But so is the clerk at the grocery store that you're buying groceries from, you know, so is, you know, that truck driver that's going in and out of warehouses to fill his truck. And, you know, and he's working to the bone because he can't keep up with the demand, you know. And so, you know, the hours that these people are putting in, that's, you know, that's the true, you know, front lines, you know, and, you um, you know, it's uh, watching, for instance, all you know, everything that our, our healthcare system and our, our doctors and nurses and so forth are doing. You know, I said, you know, they need a ticker tape parade, you know, when this is all done. Yeah. Unfortunately, we can't, you know, get back to those masses for a long time to give them that parade, you know. But as you guys, you know, had started and, and, and we see it in Spain and I see it now in New York City. Um, you know, where everybody's hanging out their windows and, and applauding those, you know, who go to yeah. work and, and do it, yeah, you yeah. know, <laughs> and, 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 you know, I'm watching stories on the news of, you know, the doctor who was there on the front lines who got sick, yeah. was out of work for, you know, three, four weeks and is running back to the hospital to help again, you know, feeling guilty that they got sick, that they were home. You know, it's just a, a amazing what, yeah, you know, yeah. to see humanity, um, you know, come together in, in, in such times, you know. You know what, so. actually, maybe for the medical staff, uh, this is their mission. So, so they didn't sign to get a virus, but they know that it's a risk of their jobs. Truck That's drivers it. and grocery store people, it's different for them. So they didn't maybe sign up they were this. less prepared. So it's amazing. Right. All the people actually were in the front lines now. All kind of workers, all kind of people. Yep. It's a huge effort, and we just be yeah. thankful. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I, it's uh, you know when 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 they started closing schools uh, here in New Jersey, um, you know where my kids go to school, they were actually very prepared. Um, they were very prepared in the sense of of uh, remote learning, right? To do it all online and on their computer. They, they, I think they missed one day of school. Parents that are home that are, are, are now, you know, now the teachers, you know, and, and I'm sitting there looking at, uh, you know, algebra going. From <laughs> <laughs> back when you were young. Oh, back. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was a disaster yeah, in math, so, yeah, 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 yeah. I just uh, tap I, out. Too, <laughs> too much <laughs> dust in my brain, so it's I think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, so you know, I know I went went off there, but you know, but as far as the industry goes, man, I, it's yeah. we don't know. You know, when, when, when we were sent home, essentially, we were on, on, on a Thursday mid-March, we were told in our offices um, that it was optional. We could work from home or we could work out of the office. It's up to us. Uh, I immediately chose to work from home just because I was commuting on mass transit, right? And that was, you know, there's no really way of protecting us on a, on yeah. a good day. You don't want to touch anything in the, on those trains. <laughs> yeah. So, um, you know, so, but, but within, you know, 36, 42 hours of, of that option being given to us, we were then told, do not come back to the offices. Um, and, you know, so, you know, with the, you know, my department, which part of it is runaway tours and we do that same concept uh, for other artists and, you know, getting into the cruise business, uh, resort takeovers and so on. Um, 
you know, we were working on a, a several projects for, you know, this year. You have, um, you have the next uh, Runaway Tours here at the end of August, in the middle of August. Also. Yeah, yeah. And and it's a big unknown right now. Yeah, you know, of course. Um, I have like been... Uh, yeah, you know, like I've been a little, a little reluctant on putting out any statements because it, it, everything changed day to day. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah. You know, unpredictable. Totally unpredictable. It's completely. You know, and, yeah. and you know, right now, um, you know, I would like to hold on to the idea that we will still be able to do it. Um, and you know, we're May, June, July. You know, about four months out from it, um, and, and we hope to see enough of a change and an improvement that we're able to do this. Right? Um, I think it's. You know, it's it's the 10 year mark for runaway tours. Um, yeah. It would be a, yeah. a great way wow. for us all to come together to celebrate, know, for those yeah. who are doing it and celebrate many things. Yeah. You know, yeah. And, and so I'm holding on to that, you know, and, and I've gotten some messages, you know, if John's canceling the tour. Does that mean runaway is canceled? And, well, no, it doesn't. That's um, different. You know, yeah. if, you know, as long as the state or local government um yeah. uh, you know allows it and doesn't stop it then we'll move forward um but you know and i don't think i could truly make a a educated decision on it um until probably june um yeah it's difficult no later. To do before. it's difficult Sorry. i look i've yeah. gotten you know i've gotten so many emails of of those asking whether or not it's on or not um number one if it wasn't on i would let you all know right i would tell you that <laughs> it's not happening yeah, I, wouldn't <laughs> just, I wouldn't let it just hang there um you know but you know it, it is our goal to to do it you know i i can't make promises and if it does get um canceled or or if we're not permitted uh, to have a gathering of that size, um, then absolutely we're going to offer refunds for it. And, um, you know, I'll, I'll probably, you know, maybe try to say, you know, give a postponement option. And if you want the refund at that point, it, you know, sure. Yeah. Um, Both hope you know, so. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, you know, because again, you know, a, another piece of 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 how my business works you know it's it's you know we've already paid the hotel you know we've already paid the venue we've already paid the the boat that's supposed to bring us around the harbor yeah um you know so there's no clause in their contracts for a pandemic yeah right? of so course yeah. i i don't know what the situation is <laughs> going to be I yeah. can't imagine any, you know, yeah. hotel company, major company or so forth saying, no, nope, you can't cancel or, or nope, we're keeping all of your money and, and so on. But these you are can... things that we, we have to think of. You know, it is a business as much as we are all family and, and coming together for, for the cause of, of Bon Jovi and, and John and so forth. Yeah. It's still a business in that sense. And, and yeah. you know, business decisions have to be made, um, you know, and so you know again we we really hope it happens um yeah yeah we'll Absolutely. see you know, you know the, the other thing that we're looking at though is you know and, and in the same sense it's like okay i i have to do something to keep busy so i'm looking at um some resort takeovers um you know i know uh you know the the cruise industry is taking such a hit um i don't know how they survived this um it's it's you know there, there are also many low-cost company about fly flying you know and uh, right. in europe there are many companies already affected from this because you know the restriction yeah. social distancing, the small one distancing. especially moreover yeah, yeah the, the small one company right the, yeah. you know the cheapest mm -hmm. When you can travel from, for yeah. example, from Europe to New York, usually yeah. it was 400 yeah, euros 400 more or less. Yeah. But now yeah. I think that everything can change. 
about yeah. that. It's not easy to move also for the flight and everything. Yeah. And, so and, and believe we, we don't have the, a crystal ball. No, <laughs> you know, I mean, you know, not, not to, uh, you know, use those, those hooks, but you know, it's, it's, <laughs> We can go through the Bon Jovi checklist yeah, to keep the yeah. faith in everything else. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, in my life, I have never thought to live a days like this in yeah. this world. You know, no. I grew up with your with Bon Jovi, right? In every moment of my life, there was a song, mm. album, sure. I grew yeah. up with uh, many other fans. A no? routine. I was just a, I was just <laughs> a, a kid. I became a man, almost man. <laughs> with 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 this right and uh but i never thought in my life to live um, a situation like this one like no. this one john john is uh, like you like in new jersey they are always uh in in front row to talk with people to speak with people to help people Right now uh, i'm referring about jomo jovi soul kitchen before we we show the photo of John and his wife at the Soul Kitchen, giving food to, to the people yeah. in need and everything. Uh, I think this is something very particular of New Jersey, guys and men. Next day, there will be Jersey for Jersey, for example, yeah. with many yeah. friends of you, I think. Bruce, sure. uh, Danny, yeah. they are doing this stuff to help people, right? So Yeah. Yeah, you know, it, it, it's, you know, it, <laughs> You, you do what you can, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's, it's a, it yeah. truly, truly, you know, I mean, especially, you know, for <laughs> this goes against everything in John's uh, body and DNA to yeah, be yeah. told you, you, you can't do anything, you. right? You have to, you yeah. have to stay in your house. You can't go and, you, yeah. you know, and, you know, you can't go do promotion. You can't, you know, fly around you can't do any of this so the idea that to to think for a minute that john is going to sit around and and just sit on his hands good luck you know they're gonna, <laughs> they're gonna have to they're gonna have well, to bring the national guard to surround his house <laughs> to, to keep him you know so but what does he do you know and with the soul kitchen you know that there is more than ever a need for it um and so you know it, it's obviously you know the staff can't be coming in there and working in, in restaurants here in the area you know many of them are open but only for takeout or now what they you know are yeah. saying curbside so yeah, you, same you, here, yeah. yeah oh, you wow. could pull up to the front of it they come out yeah. they put the food in well, into your car is that something over. like uh, the people in need are still in need they are so in need fighting. absolutely and and they're yeah. even more in need yeah. now yeah. um you know and so you know so when you have you know the the, the cook and the and the line cook um john washing dishes Dorothea packing the food you know and and lou yeah. who you know is the, the gm of the restaurant yeah. um you know he's uh it, they're they're cranking out meals every day yeah 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 it's a great cause yeah yeah, yeah. absolutely Absolutely. Yeah. So let's so. see. We don't have a crystal balls to do, and uh, that's it. But, uh, is it just huh? my personal impression, or is it true that people in New Jersey usually, uh, when there's something that's happening, something going on, this bad, are more? I don't know. There's more cohesion, more solidarity in New Jersey than the other state. Is it true, or uh, just impression? Because... Uh, I don't know. You know, I mean, it, it, you know, it, 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 look, you know, Tennessee, for instance, mm -hmm. I, be, I believe their their like state motto um, is the volunteer state, right? Mm -hmm. And so, um, you know, when when there was a tornado. Uh, that hit a town just at uh, hit Nashville essentially, yeah. um, and and very close to downtown Nashville, and many homes were destroyed. Um, and you know when I I first learned of that phrase for Tennessee, 
um, it reminded me a lot of super storm super storm sandy when right. in, in 2012 when that hit yeah. new jersey you know that was devastating for jersey and i mean that is that was literally my backyard you know my house was real close to being underwater my neighbor's houses were like that um you know and and absolutely the state comes together and and you know and at that point truly it doesn't matter um you know whether you're a democrat Democrat, Republican, or, or, or an alien, you know, you, you came together and, and you helped out your neighbors. Um, so I don't know. I mean, you know, is it an impression, you know, maybe because you guys kind of have that little eye that looks at New Jersey with us and so <laughs> forth. So we kind of show that perspective, but I, you know, I, I think it, it, you know, when tragedy hits, um, you get a glimpse of true humanity, you know, and, and it, and it gives people an opportunity to put all of the aside, yeah. you know, and, you yeah. know, it, it truly, you know, whether, whether you're, you know, in Italy or America or South Africa or Australia, or, you know, Japan, you know, you help those around you, you know, and you, and you, you know, you do as much as you can to, to, to offer your help, you know, you, you give yeah. because you, you hope if you're in need, your neighbor's going to help you, right? Yeah. So, mm. yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. absolutely. No matter where is it from. <laughs> no. Uh, yeah. no. Yeah. Uh, Luca, you have some question to Matt? Uh, or but okay? Some question? Uh, no, I Luca. Uh, that was uh, <laughs> 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 All right. <laughs> okay, In Italian, no. just un paio, just a couple. <laughs> no, it's a more easy question, funny question. Just uh, most, since you've always been a runway, what is your best memory or most funny memory about the runway? Luca is Luca. Luca is Luca. Is Luca. <laughs> 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 uh, I, I, so many those, memories. Those trips are usually a blur for me, so I don't know. <laughs> okay. The, cru the uh, cruise, the cruise, uh, the cruise. Yeah, the cruise. No, yeah. Yeah. Oh, the it, it will be a, a lot amazing. of a lot of work uh, behind the cruise. Uh, I think. Good job with work. that. Yeah, well, it was you perfect. Know, it, it was, was a, I had a great partner and a great team um, that, that put that together. Um, you know, I kind of more or less was the middleman of it all. But, uh, but you know, my hats go, you know, goes off to all of those uh, folks over at Sixth Man, who was our partner with that. Um, you know, that is what they do for a living. That's their business. Um, and so we were just able to, you know, put that runaway touch on it um you know and make it make yeah. it our own you know but yeah you know i look i love these things you know and and it's and it's funny because you know starting these co this concept with john and, and the band over the years you know john truly enjoys it you know and believe me he obviously he wouldn't be doing as many of uh, that he yeah. does as if he didn't truly enjoy it um you know and it, and it's gets frustrating for me sometimes because I think every artist should be doing this. Um, and it's sometimes a little difficult to get other artists, managers, or agents to understand what it is, you know, and, and why the artist will enjoy it as, as much as the, the fan would enjoy it, you know? Um, but, you know, we keep, we keep, moving forward and, and pitching and, and trying to get others to do it. Um, but now with the expansion and now with me, you know, being part of this much larger company, um, you know, we're able to go after things like resort takeovers um, and, and cruises. You know, I, I have a cruise that's on sale that's due to sale in October. And the theme of the cruise is Broadway. And, you know, and all things yeah. Broadway. And it's supposed to leave from New York City and go to Bermuda, you know, five days, four nights. Yeah, and, yeah. Um, I don't know if that's going to happen. <laughs> you know, uh, we, yeah, we may yeah. end up having to postpone that as well. Um, but, you know, I'm currently looking at, and we've got some, uh, you know, I'm not going to jinx myself in saying the artist, but we've got three different art 
offers out for resort takeovers with, with three different uh, groups, all like top, top. Um, you know, and that's what I have to do with, with my business to keep busy and, and look into the future is we're looking at events for, you know, like I have several weeks held in May and September of 21 um for these resorts and so now we're just pitching and hoping that uh the artists are uh ready and eager to to get out there and play yeah. 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 So. Uh, if you want to ask something or uh, i think it's uh uh any other question there are many other fans you know in uh, 30 minutes the <laughs> the voice of you joining us is spreading all over the world. Uh, there, are from, there are people from, uh, of course, uh, Israel, <laughs> United States, uh, Spain also, uh, right. New York, uh, so many, many others. There are some good, good questions also, but... Uh, yeah, shoot, shoot. You know, yeah, yeah. I, don't, I, I don't see questions here. I'm assuming you... Yeah, can. yeah. Uh, Afsha, Afsha, I think you know. Afsha, ask... Matt, this is the future of oh, Turing, cool. small... Oh, grand. I love this app. This is cool. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We can put uh, also images, I videos, like and everything. And Felisa, okay. our director. This is yeah. the director. I'm working. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm working over here. He's so focused. Um, <laughs> Let's see. So the future of touring small 300 people venues, meet and groups, et cetera. So, okay. So what number well, first first and foremost, let's touch on the meet and group thing, right? I've been told by several agents already the idea of a meet and greet of the the hi, nice to meet you, that's going away you know, across the industry. Um, when this started, just started to really hit, we were already talking to many agents about various artists. Um, and of course, part of our event, whether it be the resort or the runaway size, um, was, you know, essentially a photo op or a meet and greet. And the agents were like, that's, that's a bre deal breaker. You know, artist X won't do it, you yeah. know. Um, so which you know even as a fan you know as much as i want to shake the hand of of my idol i don't know if i want to be the 300th person to shake that hand you know it, not in today's world um you know so i don't know what the direction is that's going to make the piece of that puzzle different but uh maybe but yeah, a photo think... with a photo with john with a mask <laughs> yeah with a <laughs> yes. yes. one meter with a mask and uh, yeah you know there yeah. are also there is it, it's, also... it's a shame it's a bummer but but I, I think that's our new reality for for a little while so yeah, yeah there are also compliments for you grace file from new york i think matt you're so lucky because i to us the best stuff Mm -hmm. Wouldn't be the same without the original Runway family. So it's, yeah, uh, no, and uh, I appreciate so that. I you know, some, it's always yeah, yeah. It, that's always been important to me. Um, even when I went and and you know brought this concept to the big corporate yeah. you know, events and so forth, and 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 that team, um, you know, our company has event planners um, and people who go out and do these, you know, type of events because they they do similar things for everybody from celebrity chefs to sports athletes and, and so on. Um, but it was important to me to keep those runaway staff because it, you know, as much as we look at you all as family, so is you know, that staff to you guys, you know, they're people that, you know, and you have befriended and, and recognize and, you know, and they, they work hard for me. And, and of course, you know, the, all of them are friends. Nobody is just, you know, hiding, yeah, you know, course, they are yeah. close friends of, of all of us. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. So Matt, just, uh, I think it's, uh, it's enough. You stayed with us <laughs> for almost an hour. No, 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 no problem. problem. <laughs> it, uh, <laughs> no problem. I'm, I'm taking my time because when I hang up with you, that means I got to go outside and do yard work. 
So, <laughs> <laughs> so take the good time yes, now. Uh, here, here it's uh, 7 p.m. It's a perfect time for aperitivo. Happy hour time. Nice. <laughs> Drink something. Yeah, but nice. I didn't buy the spritz. But, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So <laughs> maybe we have, we have just uh, one more hour to talk with friends and uh, sure. fans. Because we are trying to keep uh, together Bon Jovi fans in these days and uh, do what you can. And, uh, That's it, man. And I, I really appreciate this. I love this idea. Um, you know, we and, talk, and I, we talk I, about uh, in the first two episodes. We have talked about, you know, everything about the latest news of the last week. Every Sunday, right? This is the third episode. Latest news of the last week. And uh, videos of Bon Jovi, some tributaries, uh, um, also Ampton Water, you know. Awesome. Uh, also, I'm yeah, about yeah. everything. <laughs> yeah, about <laughs> everything. Uh, we uh, raised the Our sponsor is. <laughs> That's a good sponsor. Is, uh, maybe uh, maybe I, I would like to invite also Jess someday, but let's see if uh, he will answer on Instagram. Let's see, maybe Maura can invite him, not uh, not a man, maybe a girl. Yeah. <laughs> maybe we say yes. <laughs> we say yes. <laughs> nice, nice, just nice. Just kidding, just kidding. So, uh, right, other, other, okay. No, no, Matt, you got questions, I'll take a couple more. No yeah, I, I have one. So, after we close this connection with you, we are going to talk about Bon Jovi in Italy the early years. So mm. I wanted to know if you remember your first time in Italy with Bon Jovi. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Let's go back in time. <laughs> remove. Time machine remove now. The, <laughs> remove the um, dust. My, my first memory of, of being there, let's see, I think it was, I want to say 1989. 89? Yeah. 88. Maybe. It was it 88. I, I remember it was, we, we went to Rome. 88. Um, 88. Was it, 88? it was the Jersey Syndicate. Yeah. Yeah. I was, um, yeah, that, that was my first time in europe as a whole and we wow. went to a couple places and and it was it was m myself my mother uh father bob if you guys you know you all in luca i know you yeah yeah bob. <laughs> but it, 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 we, we uh we we had uh you know gone you know john of course inviting the family and my my dad of course and, and um to see europe you know, and so yeah, my my first time there obviously wasn't working yet, um, but uh, yeah, yeah, that, that was that was my earliest memory. There. there, there is there is a good question, Matt, for you. Uh, this is a Kiss fan. You see the, the leader. <laughs> As you yeah. can see. You, uh, if you can read the answer, Matt, or that it, yeah. if it wasn't for Bon Jovi, would you do this job anyways? Did you have a plan B? I'm a friend of Patrick Pendergast. Yeah, security. good old Patrick. Since back in love, the days. I love Patrick. Well, Patrick's back. Pat, you know, what, yeah. what's funny, I, I always, I, I, yeah, I laughed saying, you know, I kind of filled Patrick's shoes. And now Patrick has taken his shoes back, <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, but um, would I be doing it? You know, it's, it's hard to say because, you know, I've only ever known this world, right? So, you know, even for me growing up, I'm sorry, I'm laughing through my office doors. I see my wife chasing our dog who has a dish rag <laughs> <laughs> running around. And she's ready to send him to the pound. Um, <laughs> um, you know, there, there really wasn't a plan B for me um, because, again, this is really all I knew. 
I've always, you know, I, I, my my earliest memories of being around John as a musician, I, I've only ever looked up to him and, and wanted to work and be part of his team. Um, you know, so I don't know. I wouldn't know how to be a banker. You know, I, I wouldn't know. You know, I don't have a, you know, a, a skill set per se um, outside of this world. Um, you know, if, you know, I guess, though, you know, not necessarily saying there's a plan B. I mean, look, I don't work for Bon Jovi anymore. You know, I'm I'm not on the Bon Jovi payroll, um, but I am continuing in this field. Um, you know, it was a, a big decision for me, um, you know, to go and get a real job. Uh, so, <laughs> it's been uh, challenging for you, Dan. Uh, yeah, the the yeah. most famous the most famous words in the world, a real job. Because yeah. this fucking job is yeah, a real job. It's yeah, real. I mean, you, know, it was, you know, look, I, you know, it was a lot of fun too. Honest, um, honestly, you were very missed the last tour in Europe. Oh yes. no, in my opinion. Yeah. You know, the girls, the did girls did it? a great Express. job. The, the girls, the girls did a great job, and the staff. Yeah. Were, Backstage did a great job, really good. Uh, good. It was a great job, but you it, were a little bit missing. <laughs> it, I and I appreciate that. You know, it was uh, it was a real um, interesting experience for me to you know this is the first tour really in twenty five years I think for me uh, that I wasn't part of um, and to have well, essentially start that tour, right? Because it was technically the same tour, um, you know, to be on it and then not be on it anymore or part of the conversation um, and to watch the tour through social media. Um, that was surreal. You know, that was definitely kind of like, that was weird for me, you know. <laughs> uh, but it was also bittersweet. You know, it, it's one of those things, you know, and I've always said this, even through the years of, of me being on the road, you know, when you tour, it's, you know, it's a love hate relationship. When you're home, you want to go on the road. And when you're on the road, you want to go. You want to be home. home. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and, and so, you know, I'm thankful because I was able to, you know, get an opportunity uh, to stay in the industry and do what I love. Um, and not necessarily live out of a suitcase anymore, um, but still travel. Um, you know, so it, you know, it was definitely a, a a change. You know, I mean, the idea. You know, I used to swear I would never get a nine to five job. I would never go and sit, you know clock in in the morning and you know, and here I am getting on the train in the morning. And, you, know, <laughs> you know. But I love it. Yeah. You know, it's still again. I'm still part of it, and 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 this you know evolving industry. Um, I'm you know, I, I I hope to look at what's happening now, and when it does reopen and so on. You know, there's going to be a lot of changes, and I'm kind of excited to be part of that, right? Because it's going to be new experiences and new ways of thinking and and out of the box thinking. Um, so I'm kind of excited to be part of that process. You know, keeps it interesting. Yeah. Yeah. You know? yeah. I mean, Absolutely. I can think of other ways to keep it interesting, but <laughs> instead of a pandemic. <laughs> you know, but uh, yeah, but yeah. You know, okay. We're, we're, okay. You know. okay. <laughs> so perfect. But, no. So Matt, uh, really, thank you very much. No problem. You, it man. was uh, one guys, hour uh, very fast with you. Thanks no for problem. joining. You're like my brother. Thanks for everything. Right. Always and, in my and heart. You. I Always appreciate it. You guys heart. stay safe and, 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 and keep your family safe. And, and you Thanks. know. You too. Thank we'll, you. Uh, you too. We're, yeah. we're going to get through it, you know. For sure. You, yeah. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, much love to everybody. And thank you all for joining. And, Good to see um, you. Bye. You know, when the time stops. Oh, that's right. That's <laughs> right. This one is a good call. There you thank go. You. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, ok ragazzi, doveva essere mezz'ora, eh, 20 minuti, un quarto d'ora, non era neanche sicuro. Invece, invece <ride> non avete visto. <ride>